This is a love poem, but not to any specific person, people, place, or position. Oh no. This is a love poem to a specific substance, one that we're all pretty familiar with, but I think we rarely consider it during times of nasty. That substance, ladies and gentlemen, is pudding. Now, I need you to pretend that you're not here for these words. They're very personal. And I'm concerned with your safety. Those of you experiencing pangs of hunger, I urge you to go find yourself a snack at a booth or a truck and then come back because this is about to become porn for fat people. Okay, those of you who wish to stay and experience gourmet eroticism, please visualize along with me. Picture a buffet unlike any other where beautiful people of your dreams have gathered to feed you the silky delicacy known as pudding. Imagine that they're so enveloped by ecstasy, so into this feast they're feeding you, that they keep referring to it as puddin. So drawn to it, they forget the letter G. I would like to take a moment to speak directly to that in which this poem was written. Hello, pudding. Oh, how I miss you, baby. How I long to be near your ball with a very tiny spoon. So tiny. Just a little baby spoon. An invisible baby spoon. And people will say, McGee, why is your spoon so tiny? And I will say, so that my snack pack lasts for four days. <laughs> Pudding, I want to caress your shapeless existence. So shapeless. I want to watch you do that gelatinous jiggle you do so well just before I consume you with all the passion I learned from Bill Cosby himself. God damn you, Pudding! How dare you disguise yourself? Who will you be tonight, my sweet? Hmm? Maybe a bowl of tapioca? Hmm? Maybe a taste of butterscotch? Hmm? Or will you be more complex? Donning a vanilla chocolate ripple, hiding away in my freezer, hugging a stick and only succumbing to the name Pudding Pop. Oh! Pudding. Temptation is for the weak. So please, call me Weekly Weakerson when I am near you. Me and my band, The Weak Tones, will play songs of desire and merriment. And if that doesn't work for you, my dear sweet pudding, I can always put on my Marlon Brando costume. The one that seems to turn you on the most. The one that gets you all thick and creamy. Uh, pudding. The horror. The horror. I could drink you from a straw pudding. No, F that in the A. I could drink you from a bendy vacuum hose I bought at Target. Yeah. And I will also buy a Hello Kitty kitty pool, because it's ironic. Yes. And then I will buy 100 gallons of you at Costco. Chocolatey, delicious you. And I will put you in my front yard. I will inflate the pool. I will make an error. It will not fit through my front door. I will then have to deflate it a little, bring it outside, reinflate it a little bit, take a nap, for I will be very dizzy. Because I'm a smoker and an idiot. I will take a nap. I will wake up. I will have an ironic cigarette. And then I will pour 100 gallons of chocolatey delicious you into the Hello Kitty kitty pool. Then I will disrobe in my front yard, revealing a hand bedazzled tube top and DIY shit. And then. I will dive into you and immediately regret it, for you are shallow. <laughs> I will play splashy splashy in you. I will doggy paddle, kind of, sort of, almost. And then, after several weekends of doing this every Sunday, through the summer, being coated in chocolatey, delicious you pudding, my neighbors will approach, at least the head of the neighborhood watch, and he will say, and he will be Scottish for humor purposes. And he will say, McGee, how dare you not invite me to your pool of delight? I'll say, sorry, Scotsman. I'll say, I have 
one way you can redeem yourself, and that is when you get out of the pool before you towel yourself off, can I lick it off of you? And I will think about it for about 70 seconds. And then I will say, no! Mine! I will lick me! For I have a tongue, my own tongue, and a book on yoga. <laughs> However, pudding, I have discovered that my colon cannot possibly tolerate our passion any longer because uh, you are milky and sugary and I am lactose intolerant and diabetic. <laughs> so you are one hell of a lover and you're killing me. So I have to say goodbye to you, pudding. I have to say goodbye to you the only way I know how. It's true. So I will call for one last night of intimacy with you, Pudding. And I will summon the spirit of Bill Cosby and serenade you with these words. Zipper zang, tass a piece of damn sauce of fire. Wednesday is hump day, Kodak moment. Ha! Thank you very much, you guys.